Welcome back to Solar Snapshots. You've probably seen our other snapshots where we've talked about things like inverters and terminology. This time, I'm just going to touch on batteries. At the moment, batteries are a hot subject. And people are ringing up and going, hey, batteries, what are batteries all about? What are solar batteries? What are the technologies? So in a snapshot, batteries for solar are different to other types of batteries, generally speaking. A solar battery is what's called a deep cycle battery. Now, a deep cycle battery is a battery whereby the chemistry of the battery and the design of the battery is that it will store energy and it will allow you to draw that energy over quite a long period of time at a decent amount of what's called amperage. So you can put the energy in there and you can draw it out to run your home as your home needs it. That's totally different to, say, an automotive battery. An automotive battery is designed that when you turn the key, it gives a large amount of power for a very short period of time, fires up your starter motor and starts your car. So an automotive battery, short burst of power, and I'll do that again and again and again. Deep cycle battery, long drawn out period of power overnight, and will feed your house. So when you're here, deep cycle battery, that's all that means. Battery technology, there's lots of batteries on the market. And we keep hearing lithium batteries and power walls and the various options on batteries. And lithium is definitely a very good battery option, particularly in the hybrid situation where your batteries are storing the power, you've still got the mains and the batteries are supporting your mains power overnight or when you have a peak of use and you want to get that extra power, use the batteries and the mains come in all combined and lithium's great for that. Now there's lots of lithium on the market and you may have seen my video about lithium iron versus lithium iron, I-R-O-N, lithium ferrophosphate, commonly called LFP. A couple of different technologies. There's been a lot of debate that LFP is the safe lithium, whereas lithium iron, not so safe, thermal runaway, that's an unstable lithium iron situation. However, what I've come to realise, my conclusion on the question of which lithium, which battery, is actually more about which manufacturer, which company, how solid are they, and how well is the product built. A poorly built lithium ferrophosphate battery will be always worse than a really well built lithium iron battery. Now, I've just come back from the uh, Solar Expo in Australia, the All Energy Expo, where there would have been 40 different battery manufacturers. Every second stand was manufacturing and presenting their version of a lithium battery. And what they're doing is they're taking a Samsung cell or a Toshiba cell or a Sony cell, one of those little lithium batteries, they solder them all together into a block, into a case, and that's your lithium battery bank. Same as in the base of an electric car. It's actually no different. So, the cells that go into the battery, and many times, there's maybe 50 or more, probably 100 now, uh, all over the world, and largely in China, manufacturers of lithium cells. And of course, they come in different qualities. You can, the quality matches what you pay for it. Getting those cells, putting them all together, makes a battery. How well are they put together? That's a big, important part of it. And who's going to still be in business in 10 years' time when the warranties? Because you've got 10-year warranties on these batteries. Typically 10 years, 10,000 cycles warranty. So my takeaway from the show was back the company that you can see is going to be around in that 10 year period if you have a warranty claim. So I'm standing by companies like LG, very good company, everybody knows LG. BYD is a company we use a lot of batteries from and not everybody in New Zealand knows BYD but they're actually one of the largest electric vehicle manufacturers in the world based in China. They make electric rubbish trucks. If you go up to Shanghai, four out of six cars on the road or trucks or vans on the road are BYD electric vehicles. So fantastic BYD. So brands like that are brands to, to absolutely be confident in. Others, I mean some of the big name popular sexy brands, will they be around in 10 years? Well, that's anyone's guess. So my take on batteries, good brands, good manufacturer, well built when you're going lithium iron. Thanks for listening and for any more information you need on solar, just come to Solar King online and one of our guys can tell you everything you need to know. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.